I think since since July last year when that, when uh, our car had to stay down here, we didn't get to run it. This has kind of been circled on our calendar. Uh, qualifying day, we felt like we had a shot at it then, and uh, the guys have worked hard and felt good about this all winter. No, I mean I think that uh, a little bit more time off is, uh, you know, gets you prepared better. I think we came down here with a, a better race car than than we've ever come down here with without even testing. So uh, I think it gave the guys time with with all the that all that went on this winter with us with our team with moving shops and and combining our efforts. You know, I think testing would have hurt us more than helped us. It's an amazing, um, it's amazing feeling uh, of I feel so grateful to uh, Rick Hendrick because that's where it all starts and um, what an incredible person that that he is um, for giving me this opportunity and uh, and then Alan Gustafson and and uh, Kellogg's CarQuest team uh, because everybody works hard in this in this business. Uh, they just worked a little smarter, I think, with uh, with with the time that they had, uh, and and put me in a really fast race car. And it was all about them, but it's so much fun to go to work every day uh, with a group that is so fired up and excited as as these guys. And um, I just can't wait. To, uh, I can't wait to do. I actually wish that. We were starting in about five minutes. Just give me enough time to get strapped in, and I'd I'd like to start the 500. Be real honest with you, it's the it's it's trying to get my arms around the crown jewel, um, and you know I didn't let that uh, eat at me a lot, um, but you know when it started dwindling down to where you could count on one hand your ch shots at the Daytona 500, and then it started going down, you know four and three, and well we don't know anymore. You know, we don't know anymore. We don't know. You know, um, in 07, you know, really what I wanted to do was win, win, win the Daytona 500 and or the Brick Brickyard, and uh, and we went up even to the. You know, we got close here and we went to the Brickyard and ran sixth with a broken transmission. So, uh, mission was uh, almost accomplished. I mean, it's very, and those are crown jewels. Uh, put the focus on that rather than worrying about f uh, points or anything else. There's still 10 times as many, almost as many great sponsors out here as there were in the 80s. There's still nearly 10 times as many great opportunities to drive for great teams as there was in, in the 80s. Um, you know, in the 80s, I know, I mean, it happened all the time. If you look, third place was five laps down. Or three laps down, or whatever. At Martinsville um, in 1981, I ran uh, third, one lap down. You know, and uh, Daryl and, and uh, Harry were first and second, and I was a lap down in third. You know, so the racing is way better than it was in the 80s. I don't care what anybody says. It's way more competitive. It's way better. We have a lot more sponsors. There will have a lot more jobs. Um, you know, there's a lot of things positive in this thing, even though we have, you know maybe have lost some sponsors and have lost some jobs and are experiencing we're not experiencing you know anything different than the whole world everybody is feeling the pain every person i don't care what they do feels the pain of the economy right now to some degree and I'll be real honest with you i think nascar is feeling less of it than the the average 